Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll check the view real pretty out there this evening. Skycam 8 high atop the Embassy Suites over in Seaside looking out towards Monterey. Just a couple of high clouds starting to stream in right now. You take you over to the other side of the bay and yeah, folks enjoying the boardwalk out there this afternoon. And uh, why not? Plenty of sunshine to be had. Temperatures fairly mild and the rides are going and spring break is going as well. Mid 60s, upper 60s today, some 70s though for the valleys. You see the warmer spots basically just mirror the valleys, right? Santa Clara and Salinas Valleys from 72 to 76 this afternoon. That's where most of the warming was, but everybody had sunshine, a couple of high cumulus clouds, a couple of puffy clouds up over the hills. And now you can see again the bigger cloud deck that is up to our north next front uh, starting to make its way into Northern California. You can see the Doppler radar picking up on the rain here. Uh, the bulk of this system is still well offshore, but it is moving rapidly towards us, so conditions will change quite quickly later tonight. We'll start to see more of the clouds. The wind will also pick up out of the south and become breezy. Uh, overnight through the middle of the night, let's say 2, 3, 4 in the morning, we start to see the rain showers coming in to the Santa Cruz area, Santa Cruz up to the uh, Santa Cruz Mountains. And then it looks like between about 4 and 6 a.m., the heavier rain could come in, and that could go moderate to heavy for a few hours, and the amounts are going to depend on how quickly this all moves through. You see the spots there, the bullseyes, the Santa Lucias and the Santa Cruz Mountains, as is usually uh, the case, and that'll be the case with this one too. The valleys getting a little rain shadowed early in the morning, so a good excuse to maybe sleep in tomorrow. South winds still going at 7 a.m. and plenty of showers as the front continues to push through, and then between about 7 and noon, you'll notice the wind shift, and it is a little bit slower on the latest couple of runs of the model. So even at noon, there could still be some spotty showers. And you notice the wind's just shifting at that point. And then we go into a clearing sky for the afternoon. So it may take the better part of the day to get that full sunshine back. In terms of amounts, of course, the highest amounts would be down over the Santa Lucia's up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Now we could see somewhere between about a quarter and a half an inch, maybe a little more in the peaks, with the valley seeing maybe a tenth to a quarter at most, and the coast somewhere in between. Winter weather advisories tonight uh, through the day tomorrow in the Sierra. So if you have to go over 80, uh, 50, or 88, and you want to get to Reno, uh, either have chains or all-wheel or four-wheel drive uh, with all-season tires. They will be checking that, so that's how that works. Uh, if you don't get through the Sierra very often this time of year, you can get some snow. Clouds and wind as we go through Sunday. Easter Sunday's dry. We have sunshine. Monday, the clouds come back. This is the next series of fronts. There will be a couple next week. And look at this. Monday, we're watching the next one arrive Monday night into Tuesday, so we're not done just yet. And, of course, as these fronts come through, they will not allow temperatures to warm up very much. So even though it'll be spring-like with 60s and 70s across the state, those 80s and 90s we had a couple of weeks ago, those are not coming back anytime soon. 40s overnight. Again, the winds get a little gusty out of the south, rain developing. So if you happen to be traveling late tonight, you'll run into that. Otherwise, middle and upper 40s for the morning with rain. 60 to 68 tomorrow. Morning showers, afternoon clearing, seasonable temperatures. And taking a look at your highs, low to mid 60s will do it again. We'll go from rain showers to sunshine, but late in the day and the breeze will pick up in the afternoon. Your KSBW eight day forecast showing dry on Sunday. So the return trip is easy. Monday's dry. Tuesday, we're back into the chance of showers. Wednesday looks dry. Thursday, we could be back in the showers. Highs are only going to be in the upper 50s to middle 60s most of the week and a chance of rain Monday night, Wednesday night and Thursday night. So after a dismal few months, we're making up a little bit of ground here in April. It's keeping the temps down and the fire danger a ways out now because we've been getting some wetting rains. Right. It's Which really good news. Every little bit helps. Absolutely. Right.